Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we got a nice little obscurity for you. Coming to us from Privateer Press. This was one of their Lock and Load 2019 exclusive models. I believe it was for 2019. Anyway, these are the Lady Doom Reapers. Reapers, Reapers, Doom Reapers. The Doom Reapers are basically criminals or people that have done something that has angered the Kadoran government, and so anyway, they get these crazy masks placed on them, and they get chained to these evil possessed blades that fill them with bloodlust and make them go crazy and want them to butcher everybody in sight. So, we have a blister pack of two. Most, well, not most, all of the Doom Reaver models so far that have been released, at least in the big multi pack are all male. So this is kind of a nice little change of pace. You can add these to a warband or whatever you're gonna do. You can use them in a game of Circle of Iron. And a nice little addition to your unit there. We do have one multi-part now. And interestingly enough, she is not wearing a mask. I guess they don't have to. It's the sword itself that is possessed with all these evil spirits. And you can see if it focuses well enough, there's all these little faces throughout the blade, the souls of the dead and the dam that have been sucked up into this sword. So we have our female model here. Nothing too complicated. Obviously holding a severed head because that's what they do. It looks to be some kind of a Signarian Stormblade helmet or something she's standing on there. So we'll get some glue, we'll put her together and we'll see how she stacks up to some other privateer models. All right, so after a teeny tiny bit of work, our Doom Reaver ladies are all finished up, and literally all I did was stick her on the base and glue her arms in. I want to say she reminds me of one of the male Doom Reaver models, but I'm not sure why. I don't think there's any in this actual pose. How they stack up? Well, they don't actually own any female, or at least human female, privateer models, but with the most amazing and excellent Bloody Bradigan Pit, you can see there, they fit in pretty decently. I do have a Makeda model here, if that's more your speed. Again, Makeda's pretty flashy with her fabulous headdress, and she's a lot bigger overall, being not human. So, keep that in mind, I guess. I think they'd be interesting models if you're going to use them for like an Iron Kingdoms game or in Circle of Iron or in whatever homebrew stuff you have going on. It's just going to be a matter of tracking them down. So you do want to keep an eye on Privateer's website whenever they have any kind of big special event going on because that's the time to get models like these. So I was happy to find out they existed because as of a few weeks ago, I had no idea this was even a thing. So, pleasant surprise there. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later. Bye bye.